Hi students, I am Pavan, your science master. In this video, I am going to talk to 7th standard students. Students, we have been talking about 4th chapter, what is uh, motion and what is time and in the chapter, what is uniform motion and what is non-uniform motion. And also, we have talked about uh, different uh, situations uh, where the uniform motion is and where the non-uniform motion is. Okay? And in this video especially, I would like to extend the matter that is related to motion and time. Uh, the some uh, mo moments of objects uh, that depends upon the situations. Okay, how the how the moment of the object depends upon the situations. You know, if you take uh, a bicycle, if you are riding, if you are traveling in a car, if you are uh, you know moving in aeroplane or if you are moving in train, if any object is moving in different situations, if you take the moment of the object may be in straight line or the moment of the object may be in curve line, the moment of the object in a circular path or the moment of the object may be in to and fro manner and the moment may be in irregular uh, way, the moment of the object may be in irregular path. Okay. So, based on all of these situations, we can say the moment is in different types. Okay. What do we say? The moment of the object, the motion is in different types. So, we can take the heading types of what? Types of motion. Students, types of motion. So, the type of the moment depends upon the situation. Okay. Let me give you some examples. Uh, some of the pictures will be displayed on the screen. You keep observing them and you try to understand the type of the motion that possess. Okay. Yeah. If you take this picture, there is a car and the car is traveling along the straight road. A car is traveling along a straight road. You remember the word students? Straight road. Straight in the sense there is no curve. The car is moving in straight line. Okay? The car is moving in what? In straight line. In first situation, the car is moving in straight road or line. Okay? That is moving in straight line. And in second situation, you can see the picture. If you see the picture, motion of blades of a ceiling fan. Motion of what? Blades in a ceiling fan. Blades of a, a ceiling fan. Blades of a ceiling fan. How do they move in straight line or in a circular path? Blades move in a cir circular line or else you can say in a circular path. Okay. 
you can say here circle straight path path in the sense way okay path means way so the blades in the blades of ceiling fan move in how circular path okay remember this students and then in third situation the needle of a sewing machine needle if you take a sewing machine the needle if a running sewing machine if you observe if you observe a running sewing machine the needle in the sewing machine moves up and down right up and down so the moment how is it moving needle in a sewing running sewing machine no? running saving mission what you can say the moment of needle especially here the moment of needle here moment of blade here moment of car here that moves in to and fro remember the term students to and fro moment of the needle in a sewing machine running sewing machine next take another example fourth one is pendulum in a clock yes pendulum in a clock you know what is pendulum in a clock uh let me draw the diagram here if you take a clock here which is like this and there is a hanging freely moving hand out of the clock you can see that moves here like this right this is also to and fro moment okay so like this you can understand the moment of objects in different situations here based on the moment the you know whether the object moves in straight line or curve line or to and fro motion based on the situations we can say the type of the motion okay we can say what the type of the motion yeah if the object is moving in straight path okay straight path the road you take the road is in straight that may be up and down or curve so of course that uh, looks like a straight line straight path then that type of moment you know the vehicles moving on the vehicles moving on road you know uh the aeroplane moving and the train moving on a track and all you know these are the moments if you are throwing a stone if the stone moves in air you know from the point where you threw to the uh point where it stop you know that moment moved by that stone you know he is also in straight path so this type of moment is called translatory motion translatory motion and if the moment of the blades in a fan or ceiling fan you know the blades move in a circular path so they are moving in a circular path okay so that moment is called rotatory motion see and next another one is 
नीडल इन ए स्विविंग मशीन रनिंग स्विविंग मशीन और पेंडुल इन ए क्लॉक दैट मूव्स इन टू एंड फ्रो पाथ टू एंड फ्रो यू नो दैट मूव्स इन इट दैट मूव्स इन बिटवीन टू फिक्सड पॉइंट्स ओके हियर दैट इज oscillatory motion okay translatory motion rotatory motion oscillatory motion okay and what is translatory motion and what are the again what are the types of translatory motion and what is rotatory motion and what is oscillatory motion uh, we will discuss in detail about all of these types of motions in the next class students i'll give you detailed information about this translatory oscillator translatory rotatory and oscillatory motion students okay of course the matter uh, remain same like this but there is will be a small change in that matter on what are the translatory motions and rotatory motions and oscillatory motion with different examples we will see in the next class students okay this is for this video students thank you for listening and thank you one and all